Welcome everybody to developing a CV, revising and editing. This resource is designed to support learners to revise and edit their own texts. Now a lot of learners struggle with this simply because they're not used to it or they haven't built in the practice. So we're going to do this in two ways. Number one, we're going to use an editing frame to foster a practice of editing. And this is going to be specifically designed for CVs. Because learners are writing their own CVs, we should use the CV, their own text, to help them develop a practice of editing. Number two is to give feedback to foster higher level editing. Sometimes the higher level editing gets left off. Now, there are lots of tools to help tutors provide editing. Just for example, there's the entire marking schedule for the Literacy and Numeracy for Adults assessment tool that you could use to provide feedback in addition to being an assessment tool. However, we're going to use a more condensed form of that for this particular resource and I like this editing frame because it's designed for learners at the lower steps of the learning progressions. Now the particular form that we're going to use involves two types of feedback. The first is what we call surface level editing and this has to do with the surface level features of any text. For example, punctuation, spelling, sentence structure, vocabulary and presentation. The second part of the sheet has to do with providing deep level feedback. And this is feedback which is about purpose and audience. You know, is it appropriate for the audience? Is it really resonating with the people who are going to be reading it? And does it fulfill its purpose as well as it can? But we're not going to use those particular words. We're going to give feedback on the layout, on the design, and on the alignment of the CV with the target. Now in many cases when tutors are giving feedback to learners, they'll take the learner's CV and they'll sit down with a pen and they'll work through it and make changes directly onto the CV and then give that CV back to the learner so they can see what changes need to be made. Now the way that you would use a revising an editing sheet is to sit down with the CV and with the editing sheet and you would note the type and number of errors that occur. For example, as you're working through the learner's CV, you might note that there are four punctuation errors somewhere. So you would just mark four in the punctuation area for the learner. Three spelling mistakes uh, and a number of sentence structure errors, vocabulary and so on. And so what the learner has to do when you give the sheet back to them is they have to actually actively search. They know there are four punctuation errors within their CV so they still have to actively search through and find them. And so as they find the first one and the second one, they have a clear target of what they're trying to do. They know there are four, so they just have to find four, and that keeps the motivation high. In fact, this can be a really great activity for helping learners to improve their literacy skills by using their own work. Now, the second part of the editing sheet is designed to provide deeper feedback about the audience and purpose, except it doesn't use these words. Rather, it uses the words layout, design, and alignment with the targeted job. And here's an example of some feedback that you might give to the learner. And remembering that the first sentence is a positive affirmation. We really want to build the learner up and say what they did well. And then we want to move into some more constructive um, advice for the learner. So here's a typical uh, comment that you might make. Your work experience demonstrates your communication skills very well. One way to highlight this further is to detail the types of interactions you had with customers. For example, processing purchases assisting customers to select products, and resolving customer complaints. Try adding bullet points below your experience statements. So you can see there that what we're doing is we're saying to the learner, the layout is great, but there are some other things you could do to increase that or make that even better. And then we move on to design. And design is typified by style, color, font, and overall presentation. And here's an example of some of the feedback you might give. The CV looks professional, in particular I like the font you have used and your use of colour. One way you might improve on this is to add a little more white space. Currently, you have no space between your headings and the text. By adding half a line space between these, your page will look less bunched. You may need to think about how you will create space to achieve this. And so the learner is getting uh, some feedback about how they might improve the overall look of their page. And then we move finally down into the third part, alignment with the targeted job. And this is the question, does it address or does the CV address the request of the advertisement? And here's a typical piece of feedback. You've done a great job of presenting yourself as hardworking, motivated and dedicated. Well done. The job description makes frequent comments about customer service. You have great experience to draw on here and you have done it to a degree 
but providing more examples of your experience will be of higher value than your babysitting experience. I would think about reducing or eliminating this to share your more relevant retail experience. So you can see that the learner has included babysitting as part of their experience, but the tutor's feedback is, you might be better off losing that babysitting experience and talking more about the great experience you have working in other retail stores or in positions where you've had to work directly with customers. Now, as you can see, deep level feedback is gonna require more of you as a tutor, but these types of comments have been shown to really help learners improve their writing ability. And again, you're not doing the work for the learner, you're just telling them how they can improve. So we're graduating the learner from being dependent on you, the tutor, to taking more control about their own changes. In summary, in terms of supporting learners to revise and edit their own work, editing frames allow you to give surface level and deep level feedback. They also support learners to move towards independence by fostering a practice of editing. We hope you found this resource useful. Thank you.